Happy Christmas. What is a happy Christmas? How can you have a happy Christmas? Are you having a happy Christmas? Uh, today I just want to talk briefly about this adventure we have every year called Christmas and what we're going to do about it. Christmas, no doubt, can be a really nice time of year, a time for family bonding, a time for relaxing and unwinding. But for many people, uh, Christmas can also be a stressful period, a period of isolation, a period of loneliness. So how can we cope better with Christmas? How can we thrive in Christmas? How can we survive the Christmas? Okay. I think the thing that we have to remember with human beings and festivals is that as human beings, we have a need as tribal creatures to codify things, to create rituals, and in a way, they're good to remind us of something. They remind us of uh, a way of life. They give us a sense of nostalgia, a sense of belonging, culture, uh, cultural belonging. But on the flip side, the problem with uh, these rituals is it's as if on a certain date, on a certain time, you must fall in line with that ritual. And uh, the reality is that you know, our moods go up and down. We're not necessarily going to be in the right point when that ritual comes or that time comes. And the problem with Christmas is there tends to be a lot of expectation for Christmas. And uh, who can live up to that expectation? But what we have to do, if we want to thrive at Christmas, if we want to survive at Christmas and be happy at Christmas, I think there's a couple of things we have to do. First of all, we have to realize what is the true meaning of Christmas? If Christmas is about spending loads of money and running around the place, or trying to have a stylized lifestyle where you're all parties and stuff, this can be difficult because, yeah, if your life is in a situation whereby you have a lot of happy relationships and everything's going well, then this can be uh, easy. But what about if you're a lone person, maybe lonely, you had a divorce or a bereavement, uh, maybe you're struggling financially, maybe you have some health problems, uh, maybe you're in a strange town in a strange place. It might be so easy to live up to this. And if you're going by this expectation, it might be difficult to fulfill yourself with this expectation. That's the first thing. Uh, we should try and get away from uh, too much identification with this idealized Christmas. Okay. If we get back to the true meaning of Christmas, all right, from a Christian perspective, the true meaning of Christmas is, of course, a celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. And... There's a lot of stuff around that, all sorts of hymns and carols, and we have Santa Claus and all this stuff. But what was the what was the real event about? What's the real Christmas about? What's the real Jesus about? And this is what we need to get back to: uh, a sense of reverence, uh, if you're a Christian or a spiritually minded person, a sense of reverence for uh, the birth of Jesus. That is the real meaning of Christmas, away from all this show. Uh, the other thing is, uh, as well, uh, regarding Christmas, uh, whether you're religious or not, uh, is there's so much emphasis put on uh, having all sorts of entertainment and running around the place. And you might not be in a position to do these things. You might, as I said, be lonely, be sad. Uh, you might have emotional issues. And yet you're supposed to step into this party, 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 routine of Christmas. And that mightn't be possible for you. So there's kind of two things we need to think about. One is this, what is Christmas really about? And getting back into that, what is Christmas really about? And the second thing is, just on a psychological level, maybe you're not a very spiritual person, religious person, you don't give a damn about it. You just know Christmas is a festival and everybody else needs to be partying. And for one or other reason, maybe you're not the happiest person out there. And in which case, you have to use some psychology. And the basic psychology you have to realize is that who I am is not who I am in society. There's a difference between my quintessential self and my social self. And so if you're not so happy with the whole being forced into Christmas party and stuff like that, it's not your seeing or you're just not enjoying it so much for whatever reason, then the angle to take is to get back to what's my quintessential self. I just see it as, for most people, to get a few days off of Christmas, what's a holiday in Christmas season, 
and take a few days off to get back to my quintessential self. What things do you like doing? What activities you like, what hobbies you like, how you like being in the world, rather than forcing yourself. So most people are actually having angst over Christmas because they feel uh, they're forced into something they're not. And also they're out of touch with the true meaning of Christmas. So the true meaning of Christmas is of course spirituality and giving to people and generosity and helping people. Uh, so of course you could do some charity work to feel good about yourself if you like. But also if you're just not into the whole thing, get back to the quintessential self. You can't stop the world from being in Christmas mode. You know, to go to have that city music playing and there's gonna be parties and all that stuff, you can't stop it. But if you don't like it, you can go back to your quintessential self rather than trying to be a social self, if that doesn't fit with you. So whenever there's a, an anxiety, whenever there's a discomfort in a festival, and probably I think Christmas brings about more discomfort for people, not that, I mean, lots of people love Christmas, but there's a sizable majority that have issues with it. And if you're one of those people who has issues with Christmas, or is having like family arguments at Christmas and stuff like that, I feel by and large it's because this desire, this need to have a social self that fits into a social construct of rituals and this ritualistic festival and you're really not happy about it because it's, it, your quintessential self is left in the corner to rot basically you need to get back to your quintessential self if you have to take place in some family functions and stuff take place go and know those family functions but tune into that side of things tune into am i being real with people am i interacting with people try and touch base with people if you think all this stuff is too materialistic and so on, uh, try and touch them at that. If you're unfortunately in a place where they're having lockdowns and all this sort of stuff, and it might be the opposite problem. The opposite problem is you're not getting to contact enough people. In which case, again, get back to your quintessential self and get back to the real meaning of Christmas. Real meaning of Christmas is things like charity, things like spirituality, things like uh, remembrance of God. Quintessential self is, okay, it's a holiday, but maybe I can't meet somebody I want. I'll meet some people I want. What do I like as a person? Okay, This is where we have to self-reflect and find out what we really like. So surviving Christmas is about realizing there's a difference between the true Christmas and this paper mache Christmas we see, and also the quintessential self and the social self. So whether it be that uh, you're having some issues with joining the party, or whether it's that you can't join the party, whichever end of that spectrum you're in, it's about getting back to what's the true meaning, okay? Uh, what really matters and what really matters to me and uh, there are times in life where we have to uh, be in situations where we have to deal with maybe being on our own or sometimes the opposite we're dealing with people but either way get back to the true meaning of whatever festival it is and get back to the quintessential self so hope you have a nice Christmas one way or another or rather you should make it a nice Christmas one way or another <clears throat> please like and subscribe if you like the video I'll talk to you next time.